and Sierra loves dogs stay to the end and I'll show you a dog. If you're new to my channel, guess what? So am I. This is my third video. I decided I'd start a YouTube channel this year and so far I've been going through sorting different drawers in my closet. I've done my purse drawer, my travel bag drawer. I'll link those two videos below if you want to check them out. And this week I'm doing my sock drawer, which is super random, but here's what it looks like. But like all the other things in my closet, it needs to be sorted. Everything needs to be sorted on a regular basis. And I feel like this isn't something that's ever going to end. So every week, uh, just sort another drawer. One of my favorite YouTube channels that I follow is Callie Bransford at But First Coffee. Unfortunately, she talks about doing a sorting every day and there's no way that I could keep up with that level of being organized and effort, partly because it takes me so much time to make a decision as you've seen in my previous videos. And partly I don't have the luxury of being a, a full-time YouTuber. I do have a full-time job. And so I just don't have the time or the energy or the decision-making capability to dedicate um, that to be able to do that every day. But without further ado, let's dive in and start the sock drawer. Step one is take everything out. So let's go for it. Step two, clean it out. This drawer is a little taller this week, so my stool that I've been sitting on isn't gonna quite work. I may need to actually stand up and raise this tripod a little bit higher. Okay, there we go. So Here's all of it. Now I do have these plastic dividers in here and I've gone back and forth on using these over the years and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use them. In the drawer before I had it set up, they were just sitting there and not really being purposeful. So a uh, jury's still out on whether I'm gonna use them or just put everything together. They're all just socks. You do have to kind of assemble them and I'm feeling a little challenged <laughs> to do so. Am I doing this right? You know, there's like some assembly required here and I feel like I can't get this. This might be a sign. <laughs> oh no, I got it. Okay. Okay. It took me a minute, but I got it assembled and there's only one of these. So I feel like I had two, there's two pieces, but one honeycomb, if you will. And I feel like I had others of these, so I'm not sure which other drawers they ended up in, but I will put this in my sock drawer and see how I like it for organization. One decluttering technique that I've heard of is to shop the things that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and shop for these. These are the little sports socks that I wear 90% of the time. These are from Costco and I think they come in a six pack. They're Pumas. They are little athletic socks with a low ankle. And I wear these most of the time. Um, if I'm wearing a closed toed shoe, this is what is generally inside of it. I wear it during the day, to sleep in at night, to work out in the next morning, and then they go in the wash. And so they are on my feet most of the time. So I'm gonna shop my pile and grab all of these out because I definitely want these. Okay, I found four of those no-show socks, but I also found these, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these because my no-show socks have taken the place. But these are like um, little nylons that go in, again, same kind of idea where you'd want something to line a shoe um, but not be able to see it. However, I don't ever use these. And this would be more like for a dress occasion, but look, look how, like our feet don't look like this. <laughs> like I wouldn't even know how to wear this. This doesn't even look like it would, or, how would this even go on? Either you put in, either you put it in like, like, okay, I'm gonna try this on. So there are two ways this could work. One is you put the seam on the toes. So ignore my um, unmanicured feet. I haven't done them in a really long time, but that's one way. Well, that actually kind of works, huh? But then I feel like, see how high they are? Would you actually wear, I'm like, I'm not gonna wear these with heels because you would see, you would see it. Like, look, <laughs> I'm not gonna wear that. So, you know, when would I wear this that I wouldn't wear my better no-show ones with the grippies, right? Like, I, I don't think I have a purpose for these. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting rid of these because these were from a long time ago and my no-show socks have taken the place of them. They're gone. Okay, the next type of sock that I would wear is what I would classify as a fuzzy sock. So this is something that my feet are cold, it's winter, I wanna just feel cozy and warm, and I do wear these and let's go through them. Okay, I only have three pairs of fuzzy socks here, but I think I have a couple in the wash. If they're in the wash, they're in rotation, so I'm not worried about them. These, I think I'm gonna keep even though these used to be pink and they look gray now. They're still usable. These are a good solid gray. They'll be worn. I think I'm gonna get rid of these because check them out. 
Oh yeah, you're gonna need to see these on. Okay, here we go. These actually have little spots for all your toes. I mean, it's good to have your toes separated so you can like pick things up with them. <laughs> on second thought, these are so much fun. I think I will keep them. <laughs> I also found four bralettes in this drawer, my sock drawer. I actually have a drawer for my bras and bralettes, so I'm gonna put them in the other drawer. I have nylons. Nylons. I haven't worn nylons in, I can't remember when. I'm in California. It just doesn't get that cold. In the winter, I'm not generally wearing skirts or dresses. Um, and when I do, I might wear leggings under them, but I don't know, should I, should I keep nylons? I feel like it's good to have, but I can't remember the last time I wore them. So I have two pair of nude and two pair of black. I'll just keep one of each. I also have two slips and I wanna keep these because I will wear them sometimes if I wear a, a dress over legging, sometimes it sticks. So I am gonna keep these to prevent that static cling from happening. Now I'm on to just my random socks. So I'm just gonna go through these and say keep or no keep. Oh, I found these little gnome socks in here and I feel like I keep these more with my Christmas socks. I don't know, can you wear gnomes all year? They're like little ankle socks with gnomes on them. What do you think? Are gnomes all year round or just for Christmas? I found these, they're like dress socks. They're super thin, like nylon material. I can't think of a shoe I would wear these with. If I'm gonna wear something that's this high, you know, up to here, I'm probably gonna want something that's more like a boot sock and not something really thin. These are gonna go because I haven't worn them in forever. Aw, my boyfriend got me these because he has a little white French bulldog named Quentin. Maybe we'll get to see him one of these days. Here's another pair of those long dress socks. Again, no real use for them. This one doesn't have a friend. Sorry, bud, you gotta go. I got these on a work trip. Aren't they so fun? The Berkshire Hathaway Home Services logo and the sunset and the stripes. Oh, I'm keeping these, I love them. Here's some more toe socks that I think are made for exercise because they have grips on the bottom. They're actually called toe socks, but I don't think I've ever used them. I'm, I'm not exercising with my toes out. Um, usually I'm rowing or I'm at the gym and we have to have our toes covered, so. These are gonna get given away. Okay, story time on these socks. I went to visit my girlfriend Casey in Denver and she took us up to Estes Park for a Jeep tour in the Rocky Mountains. At the very first stop, I was taking photos and dropped my phone into a waterfall. And of course I dove in after it. This was mid-October and actually the last day before they closed the road that we were on for the winter. So it was not warm. So I dove in and this was the first stop. So I'm soaking wet for the rest of the tour, which is another three or four hours. We finally get to the top of the summit and they have a gift shop. I go in there and, and I said, do you have sweatshirts? Do you have dry sweats. Do you have anything I could buy? At that point, I would have bought a $75 sweatshirt. It didn't matter the cost. I was so cold. But they did have these really warm wool hiking socks. And so I put them on and at least I had one part of me that was so dry. They say Rocky Mountain National Park on them. And I wear them all the time for hiking. And it reminds me of that trip. And they are the biggest, wooliest, warmest socks I own. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I didn't get my phone back. I dove in and I looked around for it. I called my friends over. They couldn't hear me, so they just waved back. I was like, you guys, get over here. So later I had to tell them what I was doing, waving around like a maniac, but I had to go get a new phone when I got home from that trip because mine is still somewhere in a waterfall in the Rocky Mountains. How do you fold your socks? I generally put them together and then if they're long, I might do them in thirds or in halves and then fold them inside out like that. Is this how everybody does them? How do you do your socks? But I put them in a little sock bowl so that they're together and their friends are together. Okay, so that's it for socks. The next thing I have is this kind of closet utility box. So these are extra pads that look like they would go to a sports bra or something, but I don't need them. So I also have ankle cushions. Oh, I have a lot of ankle cushions. And these go at the bottom. What, oh, that's for my bra drawer. This just looks like general type solution. So I've got the tape. If you are popping open on your seaming, you can use the clothing tape. I've got a bra extender if your bra's ever too tight. So I'm just gonna 
keep most of this stuff. I might go through it really quickly, but um, this is all good stuff to have for solutions to problems. I guess my sock drawer is as good of a drawer as any to have these in because it's not overflowing and I just need to remember that these items are in there. This is actually pretty timely because I just bought a pair of heels where I was slipping out a little bit in the back and in my mind I'm thinking, oh, I'll just put some heel pads in there like this and they create, one number one, a cushion so that you don't get blisters from slipping up and down, but two, they create a little more snugness too. So aren't these cute? I just got them today, but they were a little loose in the heel. I have my boots on on the other side. So, you know, if I flex my foot, I'm already slipping out a little bit. So I'm so glad I found these heel liners or heel pads. I wish you could feel how squishy these are. They're so soft and squishy. These are sticky on the back. They're padded, so they're super comfortable. You peel off the adhesive. You just put them in the back of your shoe like this. And you can't even see them, but it creates additional cushioning and then it keeps you from slipping out. So now I've got a perfect fit. Yay, aren't these cute? I'm so excited, they're silver. Squishy, 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 squishy. That's it, I'm done. This was a quick one. Again, I would love your support if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any tips or organizational um, strategies that you use, please share them. We could all benefit from learning from each other. I think I can donate these. You can donate socks, right? I mean, I don't think I can donate these, but I think I can donate socks, right? If you know for sure, comment below if you can donate socks or not. I mean, I know I can't donate one sock. I know that. Thank you so much for staying to the end. And as promised, here's the dog.